Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, joining our ever-growing list of live wallpapers and awesome home screen setups is another one from the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. And this time, with a user request score of over a whopping 10,000, straight from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, joining Yusei, I bring you Black Rose Dragon and Akiza. Just like the rest in the series, I'm going to show you exactly how you can take your boring Android home screens and turn them into something like this. So if you want to see more like this, as well as other Android tips and tricks, make sure to like and subscribe. Oh and don't forget to get your favorite images animated, make sure to submit them right within the Epic Live Wallpaper app itself. And of course, don't forget to boost them right to the top with the number one ranking request made on a weekly basis, so don't miss out. So here she is, in her crimson glory, Akiza and her iconic Black Rose Dragon. Perfect for you Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there, with a ton of subtle animations, it's definitely going to elevate your home screens. And speaking of home screens, this one brings with it crimson black icons matching our dragon and grouped together in the top right of our screens we have a bold date and time indicator as well as quick access music controls which also shows off your album cover art. Now before we go any further, if you guys like this setup, make sure to smash that like button, it will really help out the channel. To replicate this home screen on your Android phones, all you're going to need is Nova Launcher, KWGT for all of the widgets, and finishing things off as icing on the cake, we're using Hex Installer. Now don't worry, I'll leave a link for everything that you'll need down in the video description below. So let's kick things off with some Nova Launcher tweaks. Starting with removing that notification bar from our home screens to give us this clean look. For this, within Nova Launcher settings, just simply head into the look and feel section and under notifications, make sure to disable this option right here. So now that we have that out of the way, let's make a couple more changes within Nova Launcher to get this comfy icon set up. So just head into the home screen section and starting right at the top with the desktop grid, we want to set that to 4 across and 8 down. After which, for the icons themselves, we're first going to turn off their labeling and then decrease their size. Now, as for our home screen dock itself, make sure to head into it and disable it. So now that we have the basic setup, let's move on to our home screen app icon. Giving us this theme colored red and black look is the Lux Pack, which for some strange reason is no longer available on the Play Store, so I'll leave an alternative link down in the video description below. Just simply head to Nova Launcher's look and feel section and then set the pack as your system icons, just as I'm showing here. Now before we go any further, let's grab ourselves this awesome live wallpaper. For this, just simply head over to my custom collection app, Epic Live Wallpapers and you'll find it there. And remember, if you want me to animate one of your favorite images, make sure to submit it right within the app itself. And of course, don't forget to boost it higher up the list. And every week, I'll be making the number one ranked request. Now, it's time for the KWGT widgets. But right before we get into it, we need to first make one final Nova Launcher tweak. And I promise, this is going to be the very last one. So within the home screen section, just scroll all the way to the bottom of the list, where you're going to find both of these overlapping options, which you want to make sure to toggle on. So now that we have that out of the way, let's move on to our KWGT widgets. Starting things off with this bold date and time indicator, straight from our very same icon pack, the Lux Red Pack, widget number 3. Just simply start by loading in a KWGT layout to your home screen and then you want to resize it so it looks something like this. Now here, to match my look, make sure to also long press it and toggle the padding option. 
Now with this widget, it's super basic. Once you do have it loaded up within KWGT, just simply head over to the layer tab and then increase its size until you get to a look that you're happy with. Now for my screen, I went for a scale of 94.4. Now just make sure to hit save before you leave. Now for the second widget of the setup, this music indicator as well as media controls. Straight from the ever popular K Music 2 pack is widget 204. Just simply start once more by loading in another KWGT layer to your home screen and then resize it so it looks something like this. And once again, we're also going to toggle on the padding option. Now just like we did in the first widget, with this one, all we're going to do is simply adjust its size. So once again, let's head over to the layer tab and play around with its scale option, making sure that it fits perfectly within our canvas. And now wrapping up the setup, we're using Hex Installer. This is going to give you a nice AMOLED friendly black backdrop with the colors of the theme splashed across your whole system, including the notification panel. Just use the color codes that I'm showing on screen. Or alternatively, you can get a similar result using the app OneShade. Now if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure to hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next one. And as for your live wallpaper requests, make sure to boost them right within the epic live wallpaper app itself. See you guys next time on Into the Parkiverse.